One of the things about the you know, small press publishing is that uh, maybe 500 copies get published. And, uh, I had a, the, actually referred to it there in a uh, piece I wrote for this. Uh, Fiddle de Deep is out of print. It's a long, long poem, and I guess it's a poem. And I want to read the prologue to you. And the good news is uh, Kevin Watson and, and uh, everybody at Press 53 is going to bring it out in a couple of months, maybe. Uh, a reprint. And, and that's, that's going to be wonderful. Um, so here we go. I'm going to read to you, and if you, you, you uh, feel right, just fade and rise. And don't worry. And then I, I, I want to sing a snippet of a song or two. Because I probably came to toward poetry through uh, the hymns in the Primitive Baptist Church I went to when I was growing up. And uh, Hank Williams Sr., I should say, who wrote all those songs. Prologue to Fiddle Dee Dee. It has a little. Quote at the beginning, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land, the song of song. And fiddle de dee, fiddle de dee, the fly has married the bumblebee, mother goose. First of all, prologue. Saying I need a word, an image, to make the world. I went back home and held my eyes on the hill, and it said, you need a word deeper than I. So I took the old fenced rails, the lizards ran, and my family's tongue came out of the mouth of Buzzard's branch. The sound of that one story, everywhere, in the marshes and the fields and low grounds, and I said, where? is the word that holds all I'm trying to say. And the cows load through their cubs over and over. It is nothing but a song. The long journey home. Slow man Barber rode his Cushman, Hooter Scooter, and parked it when we played cow pasture ball. I used to run in from the hayfield to see what Ralph Kiner had done that day. He was my man to break the babes on the run mark. A chance to have somebody stand up to bat for me. Can I make a motion for home? Motion, the third base coach might say, in slow, out of time, the squeak and sound of footsteps, my wife coming home, coming to a place we call home. The shifting winds catch her voice full in her breast, dark throated locusts. Dust their beasts of sounds, home in the spine which sitteth uneasily. The body sensual still, all those mocking birds riffling feathers at the first suggested intrusion, the low footage getting a toehold, the this place will be yours someday. And here we are, the workers mostly gone, the B Martin out on the marker in the end of the drain, catching insects, come home to rest. I was born in that house, in the hedge, the dogwood out back, the mule stables, chickens running free, the hog pen homey with grunts and tail twitches. That's it, the tall pile of wood, cursive bowling, cut for the stove in the kitchen, the home comfort range. That's it, home. The humming presence of overriding lips, the hymns my mother would sing while stirring the soup. Coming home is a hard road to hoe, middle to bust, blossom to top, barn to fill, road to pay, push to shove. The tractor's ready for the pasture. The bush hog levels the field. The lay is home, the lying down to sleep, counting sheep. Rough-shod hooves grazing the top rail of the fence, 
hum on, Percy would say. Butler and Tony trailing the possum, hum on, hum, you good dog, you. Of all those 35 hounds, we never had a dog named Blue. The cotton's tied up in burlap sheets waiting to be weighed. My mother picked 385 pounds in one day. How, I said, could you do that? And she said, well, we'd be in the field early when the dew was on the bowls and the cotton weighed more. <laughs>